My name is Keith Kiefer. I'm the owner of Lunatic Fringe Luthery here in Bisbee, Arizona. I build unusual instruments, that's why I call it Lunatic Fringe Luthery. Building crazy instruments started out as a way to make more money on the street, getting tips, because people would walk by and when they when they'd see what I was playing, they they would People that normally don't tip a street musician were giving me money. One day I said, man, I'd love, love it if I had something that had more of an acoustic sound. And I went to the swap meet and I found a Samsonite suitcase. And when I looked inside, I saw they were made out of really nice wood. So I said, I bet I could make a guitar out of that. My first week on the street playing my suitcase guitar made a lot better tips. And then, you know, I had people offer to pay me money to build them. I didn't know I was going into business then. For a lot of years, I built them on my dining table in San Diego because I couldn't afford the rent on a shop. And when I found Bisbee, there was a creative explosion here. I was playing a gig in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and Seth Appel, the owner of Old Bisbee Coffee Roasters, came up and tipped me a pound of coffee and 10 bucks. So I started talking to him, and he was just bragging about where he was from, and I just like, wow, I've got I've to gotta see this place. So I was on my way back from the Kerrville Folk Festival three and a half years ago, and it was just a couple hours out of Bisbee, so I, I gotta go look. And I got into town and I just was blown away by the art culture of this town. And then I got asked to come play Side Pony Express Music Festival. And while I was here, I was mentioning to, to a friend of mine that it'd be really cool to have a shop here. And she smiled and walked me up to, this, to my window right here. I looked inside, my jaw hit the ground. I called the, the owner, and when he told me how much, I thought, I can afford that. I don't have to sell a thing, and I can afford that. So I moved. So here I am, two years in business in Bisbee now. And I think that it was what I was meant to do. It took me a long time to get here. It's what I'm meant to do. <laughs>